Hey guys, check this out. You are going to love this. So this is the new Essentials U Essential Utils mod by MBMM. Okay, so if you don't know this, mods are available now in Dungeon Draft. And you can do things like this. I can press a button and select something that I want to replicate. And it just replicates it, including all of its dimensions and everything else. It even works with patterns. Just select it, takes you straight to the pattern, wherever, whatever pack that was in. Cool, right? But that's not it. It even works with walls and paths. And let's say that you wanted to replace a bunch of items or delete a bunch of things like the, that you put down. I'll select an item here and then I'll select this select similar and it will select every single instance of it in this particular um, level. Cool, right? So I can spam a bunch of things and then come in here and change it really, really quickly. Here's the old church. Let's say I wanted to select all of these benches. And let's say I wanted to change all their color all, all at once. Amazing, right? That's not it. Let's say I really like this bench and I want to figure out where the heck did it come from. If I select it and then I say show object info, It'll tell me not only the name of the asset, but what pack it came from. This came from the Bailiwiki assets A. So already really cool. And if I click on different things, it'll tell me where those came from. This is from the ba Bailiwiki base 01 artificial pack. And that makes it really helpful to go find these things. This one came from Dungeon Quill's master pack. Incredible, right? It even tell you where patterns came from. And then the last thing is this right here, full asset pack info. If I click that, give it a second to open up, it opens up all the asset packs that are turned on for this particular map. But then it also tells me what versions they are. And then more importantly, uh, how many objects were used or textures were used from that pack. Well, why do we care about that? Well, because you may get one of my uh, original dungeon draft um, packs like you, like you see here, right? So this is a pack that you can get from my Patreon. This is a map that you can get from my Patreon and you can open it up and start making changes to it as you like to, but you know, what packs am I using? Well, I have a lot of different packs involved. I've got all of my base assets, all of my rich asset packs. Then I've got uh, DQ of that's Dungeon Quill, I've got AOA, I've got a bunch of stuff from Epsilon, from Tom Cartos. So you don't necessarily want to get all of those things if they weren't used in this pack. So what this lets us do is it, it just shows you how much is being used. And I can just click this button, deselect unused packs. And it took like half of those packs away, the ones that aren't being used. And then I can hit apply. And that's going to change the official asset pack selection as you can see here, to just those ones that are being used. So now I don't have all of those other packs. Let's cancel out of that. And I'll just show you why that's a big deal. You know, if I want to change this forest, I have a ton of options, but maybe I don't want to have all those packs loaded. Maybe I'm not going to do something in you know, grass and vegetation, or maybe I don't need the rocky um, textures, right? Maybe I'm not doing anything in snow or ocean, right? So I can deselect those and not have to use them and not have to try to load them up. So all of these things are really awesome. Just to show you how I did some of these things, there's that eyedropper tool that you saw originally. It's actually interesting. It's It's hiding here in your uh, picker tool for your objects. And if you select that and you just select an object, it will duplicate that object and it'll take you straight to the right tool, the right size and kind of duplicate everything else for you. Pretty cool. But clicking into that maybe isn't what you want. Here I selected a, um, I tried to select that object. I selected a shadow instead. You can also just hit the hotkey P, P as in Paul, and that will take you directly to the tool. And then you can select things once you've got that tool selected. So pretty awesome. Everything else is pretty straightforward. You can just toggle object info on and off. And if you're selecting anything, you can say select similar. What's great is if it's an object, it'll find other objects regardless of their size and dimensions, things like that. Like if we want this tree, 
and say select similar, it'll give me that same tree. And then maybe again, I want to delete it or change its color or something like that. Uh, you can also select other things though, right? You can't select textures, but you can select patterns and walls and that sort of thing. As long as you can grab it and click on it, you can uh, select it, uh, select it everywhere. It's really great if you do want to change walls um, in mass, like for example, see if I can find a good example. By the way, this is from my latest, this whole uh, file you're looking at is from my latest release. If you like the um, look of this and you want these different assets, these are all available uh, on my Patreon. It's really easy to do. I wanted to create some really old, ancient kind of architecture. So that's what this release is about, like this old church, this old roof. But I also had these um, city building rooms that these all get cut out and turned into prefabs and foundry. And I wanted to change their styles really quickly from a, a desert uh, theme that I had before. So if I just select my wall tool and I've just got this wall selected and then I say select similar, it will select all of the other walls that have that same style. And then it's just as easy as changing the style, right? So maybe I want this like lighter colored wall, maybe not quite as thick. So you can change the entire map really, really quickly. This should honestly be part of core dungeon draft. It's so stinking helpful, right? Here's a different wall style, works with paths. So if I go to my path filter and say select similar, and let's see what happens when I change that to something else. Oh, and what I did was I ended up selecting a shadow path and that's why those, um, those change like that. So be aware, it's gonna select, it's gonna take its best guess at what you're hovering over. And if you have more than one thing, you might need to move a few things out of the way first and grab the thing that you want. And I don't care who you are, I've always been curious if I've got something selected and I just don't know what it's from, where, where on earth did these barrels come from? Well, they came from Tom Cartos's prefab assets. Amazing. Just knowing that I can use these again, I can use my picker tool and duplicate these. So good job MBMM on this mod. I think it's really excellent. I think everyone who's using Dungeon Draft should, should be using this. It just it's such great quality of life stuff. And I will link to the the place that you can download it on cartographyassets.com. Uh, to install it, you just download it and you download it directly into your Dungeon Draft user folder where you have like uh, maps and you just need to create a mods folder, um, put it in there and unzip it so that you know, it's it's top level is the name of the of the mod itself, and then you'll be able to see what got unzipped and what's sitting in there. But I think that's how you install these. Guys, correct me if uh, if I'm wrong on the in the comments. And you may want to install the uh, lib as well. I've just noticed. Uh, I think it helps with other mods working. But anyway, you guys again, let me know in the comments if that's right. Uh, the lib mob you, uh, mod you can find here on cartography assets as well. You can see if you, you you back up one level, you can see the other mods that are available for dungeon draft. And here is the lib mod again. It bills itself as uh, making it easier to work with mods in general. So anyway, you might want to check that out. Also, I automatically I had it installed already, so I'm not sure how much it is helping me, but I did, and that's what you should try too. So you guys let me know how you get along. Um, again, if you like any of these assets, come check out my Patreon. You can get all of this stuff here and start building and designing with these pieces that you're looking at. Um, and you can also see these rendered in Foundry. They came out with the same release. So you can see what this tower looks like when it's all stacked on top of each other. You can see what this um, church looks like when you can occlude the the roof and you can change the roof color to any color that you want inside Foundry. It's a ton of fun and I'm really excited about the density of detail within the uh, the assets themselves. Really lets you build kind of next level detail without, um, I mean, you really couldn't do it in Dungeon Draft without it. So anyway, uh, let me know how you guys get along and uh, if you have more ideas for this particular mod, 
um, and looking forward to seeing what comes out with this one in the future.